Now, if you want to make your own collection of AutoCAD block library for your projects, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll share three of my favorite methods of making block library in AutoCAD right from scratch. So let's just start with the first method. All right, so before making any block library, the first step is collecting all the blocks in one single place. Now I have this sample AutoCAD drawing and this drawing contains several blocks. Now let's for a moment assume that I want to use these blocks in other projects. So I want to create a library using these blocks. Well, for that, we can export these blocks from the drawing as global DWG files, basically a single DWG file containing just one block. And we can save it somewhere on desktop or other location. So in this case, I've created the SourceCAD library folder. Inside this folder, I've created three categories like doors and windows, electrical and furniture. And these folders are completely empty. So here we are, so it's empty. Now inside these folders, we are going to save our blocks. So to do that, I'll go to this and I'll start with write block. So go to insert, create block here and select write block option. You can also use W block command for this. Now in the source option, I'll select block and here's a list of all the blocks of this drawing. Select the block which you want to export. In this case, I'll select door and now specify the location. So in this case, I'll select the ellipsis here and desktop, source card library, doors and windows and this is where I'm going to save it. So click on save and now it's going to save it. I'll leave the default unit here. It's unitless. I'll leave it at unitless. But if you want to, you can change it to inches if you want or any other unit that you prefer. Now I'll click OK. And that block is now saved here as a DWG file. So if I double click here, go to doors and windows, we have this. If you double click to open this, well, we just have only one single file here. And that's our door. Now, this method is quite okay, but it's very slow. Now imagine if you want to just export all the blocks, then you just have to repeat the process for every single block. And if you have several drawings, that's going to take some time. Now to automate this process, I have installed a completely free add-in. So if I go to add-in, you'll see that I have this AutoCAD W block option. So this Auto W block option will automatically export all the blocks from my drawing, which is really great. So let's try this. Now, before we move any further, I want to share a completely free AutoCAD beginners course with you. If you are new to AutoCAD and you want to learn it in a step-by-step -step way, right from scratch, along with instructor support and a certificate of completion, then I have linked a course in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. It's completely free and there are no conditions or bells or whistles or just anything. Simply sign up and start learning right now. Now, back to the video. By the way, if you want to download and install this, all you've got to do is click this app manager, go to launch the Autodesk app store and in the app store, just sign in, type the name, auto w block, search for it, download it and install it as simple as that. And after installing, it's going to show up right here in the add ins tab. Okay. So with that, let's now click on auto w block and then click this option here select all now all the blocks are selected in this case i don't want door because it's already exported so you can uncheck this option now specify the location where you want to export this i want to export this on desktop and on desktop i have doors and windows electrical furniture inside source card library i'll just save it in furniture so i'll select that click ok the location is specified and also if you want to downgrade the version you can do that but i'll leave it at 2018 and click OK. It's doing the work and it's done. Now with just one click, we managed to export all of these blocks. So it's as quick as that. So now we have all of these blocks separated. If you have several drawings, you can follow the same process to create folders like this and you can separate your blocks. Okay, what if you are done with this process, you have different folders with different blocks, but now you want to use these blocks in different drawings. For that, I'll now close this tab and now I'll start with the actual process of creating library. So this step is just the primary step of collecting every block in just one single place. Now, the second step is actually creating the library. The first method is design center. So I'll use design center to create our first library. Now you can start design center using ADC command, just type ADC and the design center will open up or you can use control two to open design center. Once it opens up, click on this home tab and that's going to take you to this home location. And right here, 
we don't have anything interesting. The interesting thing here is this, favorites. Now I'll go to favorites and right here I will save all my blocks. So inside favorite I have already created this folder blocks and inside this blocks well I have all of these well blocks here but I want to now add my folder this one source cat library inside favorites so that whenever we need a block we can just use this favorites location and drag and drop our blocks. So to do that right click here in the favorites and go to organize favorites. It's going to open the location which is this and I saved this one, this folder when practicing for this video, but I'll delete this one. All right, now I'll minimize this and I'll simply copy and paste this entire source cat library here. So I'll copy this and I'll just paste it right here, source cat library. Okay, with that, what we have now, go to AutoCAD, just go to home and favorite and here it is, now we have source cat library. So this is our library right inside AutoCAD. So if I double click this, it's gonna show the three folders and inside these folders, well, we have the drawing. So door, select, drag it and drop it and it's added. Now I'll just press enter three times and we have the door. If you want to go back, just go back, maybe select furniture and just select a furniture and add it in your drawing like so. Press enter thrice and there we are. So that's how you can create the block library using design center, but that's just first method. Let's see the second method. So I'll go to this favorites option here. Now let's assume that we want to create a very condensed form of block library on our tool palette. And in this condensed block library, we only want to see the furnitures. So we already have that folder location saved. I'm going to go to this furniture option, this one, this folder, and I want to add all these blocks on a tool palette. So I'll right click here and inside this folder, I'll select create tool palette of blocks. Now what it will do is simply it will open tool palette and in this tool palette, it will add new tab called furniture. Now this tab name is exactly the name of the folder in which we have these blocks and all these blocks are now available here as well. So even if you now close design center, you'll have this tool palette and from this tool palette, you can drag and drop your blocks kind of like this. So you have the second location where you can create your block library. Now, if you want to rename this tab, you can right click here and select rename palette and it will just rename it. And if you want to delete it, simply right click here and select delete palette and that's going to delete that palette. If you want to open this tool palette, you can use control three, that's going to open it or you can also use the command TP to open the tool palette. Now let's go to the third option of creating block library and that's the most obvious one which I saved for last. It's this block library option in the block panel. So if you go to insert, there is an option called blocks from libraries that we can use. So let's select it. And now here we have four tabs. We are interested in this libraries tab. So go to this libraries tab. Now go to the drop down and here as you can see, well, when practicing, I created these two folders, they're here. But now I will add our main folder, which is this one source guide library here. So I'll go to this one, the stack of books icon and desktop. I'll go to source guide library and open. That's it. Now this folder is available here. But this folder is completely empty. Source CAD library has no DWGs, so it's not going to show anything. So instead of doing that, maybe we should go to the specific folder. So I'll just go to maybe furniture and now it's going to show all the blocks of that folder right here. So we have this here and if you want to insert these blocks, all you've got to do is select it and just add it. So in this case, chair is already there. So it's asking me to redefine it. I'll just select redefine and I'll add it like so. Here's the second block will add it. Now these blocks are not only available for our current drawing, but they are available for all the other drawings as well. So even if you close this and if you open a new session of AutoCAD completely, in that case also, if you go to design center, we have it here. If you go to favorites, source CAD library, we have it here. If you go to tool palette, well, we already deleted that, but you can access the tool palette as well. We deleted that tab, so it's no longer available, but yeah, it will remain here if you don't delete it. And then in the insert tab, if you go to block from libraries, we have it here. So it doesn't matter as long as you have installed this AutoCAD and it is available in your system, it's going to show the libraries. Now there is a word of caution here. We have seen three different methods of 
saving and creating the library but it's all dependent on one thing and that's the location of this folder if you delete this folder or you rename it then well none of these libraries are going to work so you need to ensure that this library this folder is saved in a secure place now usually that location is the network drive if you know a secure location you can save it there but autodesk has created some secure locations for these kind of libraries inside autocad and that location is support files path so if you want to save your block libraries you can right click go to options and here go to files and here we have support file search path just expand it and you can see some support locations and you can basically save your block library here one of the favorite locations where i'd recommend you save your file is this see program files autodesk autocad 2024 or whatever version you have support now you can click on browse and right there you can save your block library and everything else will remain exactly the same so this is basically inside the installation directory it's immune from all the changes that is happening on desktop or other locations but you need to have autocad installed in the system in order to access it if you uninstall autocad the library will be lost so that's a small detail but an important one that you need to keep in mind so once you have that file saved in that location all these steps are going to remain exactly the same so you can go back to design center and add your block library you can go to tool palette you can go to block library from this insert option and then follow the same method that we explored so far so that was my favorite technique of making block library in autocad let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the next video and we'll see you soon in the next one take care